digital logic question based upon number system we have been given three floating point numbers a b and c stored in the registers ra rb and rc respectively in ieee 754 single precision floating point form so they are the 32 bit registers in which these floating point numbers are stored using this standard the numbers are given as follows in these registers and then using them we need to identify those numbers and then determine which of these options is or are false so let us evaluate each of them one by one the first one is uh, ra it is c14 followed by five zeros now these are actually the 32 bit numbers but stored in hexadecimal form that's why they have reduced to just eight bits so we will write them in their expanded form cell for this one c14 c is 12 so 1100 0, 0. then 1 in four bits it will be triple zero one then four zero one zero zero and then all are zeros so this is our number a how do we calculate that we know that in this ieee 754 form we have first the sign bit then the exponent and then mantissa the sign bit it is a one bit number then exponent is eight bits and mantissa is 32 minus 9 so 23 bits and how do we evaluate the number actually we will be considering implicit normalization by default so it will be uh, minus 1 into sine then 1 point mantissa into 2 to the power exponent minus 127 this 127 is the bias that we usually go with so this a will be evaluated to the sine bit is 1 exponent is 8 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this exponent actually corresponds to 128 plus 2 130 and mantissa is 1 it starts from this side so only one will be considered and not one followed by all the remaining zeros so this gets evaluated as sine bit is 1 so this will be a negative number so minus of one point mantissa what is mantissa just one into 2 to the power 130 minus 127 means 3 so we can write that as we can add two more zeros to this it is allowed to add as many zeros as we want and now that it is 2 to the power 3 we can shift this decimal point three times to the right so this will become minus of 1100 0, 0, which actually is minus 12 so our a is let us note it here a is minus 12 now let us evaluate b what is b 4 2 1 so let us write that in the expanded form that will become for 4 it will be 0 1 0 0 then 2 0 0 1 0 1 triple 0 1 followed by all the zeros so now here sign bit is 0 exponent is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 yeah and this is our mantissa sine is 0 exponent is 128 plus 4 so 132 and the mantissa is 0 0 1 because we start from this side so now this gets evaluated as sign bit is 0 so the number will be positive so it will be 1 point mantissa 0 0 1 into 2 to the power 132 minus 127 so it will be 5 so we can add two zeros over here and then shift the decimal point by five places so that will become 1 0 0 1 0 0 and how much is this 1 2 4 8 16 32 so this is 32 plus 4 36 so our b is 36 now let us evaluate c it is given as 414 so 0 1 0 0 triple 0 1 0 1 0 0 followed by all the zeros so here again the sign bit is 0 exponent is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 exponent is 128 plus 2 130 and the mantissa is 1 so what will this be evaluated to 1 point mantissa means 1.1 1 .1 into 2 to the power 130 minus 127 3 
so we add two decimal two zeros and then shift three places to the right it becomes 1100 which is 12 so c is evaluated to 12 now depending on this let us look at the options a plus c equal to 0 minus 12 plus 12 is 0 so this is true option b c equal to a plus b 12 is minus 12 plus 36 no this is incorrect it is actually 24 so this is false and it it will be our answer because we are asked false third one is b equal to 3 times c this is correct because 36 is 12 thrice the last one b minus c is positive yes this is also true so the only false option we got is b so that will be our answer